Say hi. Yeah, good wave. Hopefully nothing's cut off here. Want you to Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexa and welcome back. Today we have a very long needed video and to just prove my point, let's flash back to the time I last updated you about baby Olivia. <laughs> She can roll over you guys. So as you guys can see, it's definitely been a minute. She is a lot bigger than she was. I am going to talk all about it. Today is going to be her four month through seven month update. So I'm gonna go kind of month by month. I have been keeping track of my phone as we've gone along. I just honestly, and we'll get into this at some point, I have been dealing with postpartum depression and it's slowly becoming more and more manageable. So yeah, I thought we would update you on Miss Olivia. I will make sure to include a ton of videos, a ton of pictures, anything that I can find because obviously right now she is a lot bigger and she is no longer that little. So hopefully she'll sit in my lap the whole time, but it's a little debatable. She's kind of more on the move these days, so she might have a hard time sitting here the whole time. Um, I used to do little updates on her looks because we were unsure of her hair, her eye color, if it was going to change, anything like that. So I thought we'd start, oops, sorry, Libby. I thought we'd start with that. So obviously her hair is like a dark brown and it's very curly. If you can tell through the Girlfriend, you are trying to hurt yourself. Do you wanna go on the floor? Obviously dark brown hair. Her eyes are a brown, like a medium to light brown. As of four months, she had a doctor's appointment at four months and she had a little bit of a sleeping regression and started to show signs of teething. I remember really struggling because it was right after I had gone back to work and she was not sleeping well through the night at all. She still at that point was not rolling from front to back, but she could roll from back to front. So I think I talked about it a little bit in my three month update that she could only roll one way. She loved daycare, loved going to daycare, even though it was really hard for me to let go at first. She would start smiling at her daycare providers and it was really, really sweet. She also started to show a love of meeting strangers. We would take her out and about and she would be smiling at people. She would be staring around her just like, wow, look at all of the people. She has always been a little bit of a people person type of baby. She will smile at a stranger and it was, it's been very sweet to watch her like be happy, be happy around people. Four months she could sit with support so if she was like leaning up against something or we used to set up her boppy pillow and kind of like help her sit up and if you didn't support her she just fell over like straight away so only with support at that point and at that point that's when she got out of three to six month clothing and on to six to nine month clothing it started being a little nicer outside so we started going outside a lot and she loved being outside if i have any other pictures or videos i'm just going to insert them now Oh, 
On to five months. At five months, she was still sitting with support. She couldn't really sit on her own yet. She was doing a little bit better, but definitely still wobbly, still falling pretty much right away. She loved making mouth noises. She loved talking to herself, all the things. At five months, she was not sleeping well at all. I literally wrote it in all caps. She was not sleeping well at all, and it was really, really a struggle for me because I felt like she was hungry, and that's why she was waking up so much at night. It was really a struggle. At that point, she was mostly in six to nine month clothing, but she had a couple of nine to 12 month sleepers. She started to roll both ways. She did it at Mimi's house, or Sean went home to Memphis, and she happened to do it while he was in Memphis, um, where she rolled from her stomach to her back for the first time. And then later that day, we realized that she was just going crazy with it. She was just rolling and rolling and rolling, and as soon as she figured out she could do it, she... We're gonna go get her some snacks. So, at that point, I think I already talked about how she could roll both ways. Um, she also started, we started being able to actually like style her hair, like put it in a little ponytail. I wrote down she loves her walker and her bouncy seat. Especially her bouncy seat, I would say. That's when she really started loving it. And I'd say she even likes it more now than she did then. Um, now she'll spend like 15 to 20 minutes in it. But that's when she first started being able to use it more consistently. She is kind of over the swing in her play gym. She stopped liking swinging because she had to be so stationary. And then same thing with the play gym. She just didn't like that she wasn't able to like roll around and just had to kind of sit there and look at the dangling toys. I also wrote at that point she could bring her pacifier to her mouth and then even grab it on the floor and put it from like hand to hand, put it in her mouth. All of that kind of thing. She started liking reading books before bedtime. And if you've noticed, we've got a new bookshelf since I probably last filmed in this spot. Um, she also loves bath time. And she's continuously loved bath time. Like, probably since she was a couple months old, she really started loving bath time. And she still currently does. And then I also wrote gearing up to start solids because at like it was like four days before she turned six months is when she started solids and she actually didn't have too much of a reaction to it i actually have a vlog up on my channel of the first time of her trying solids and she really didn't have much of a reaction so yeah um i also wrote she loves her rattle and her ball she has a ball that she really really loves and she also has a bunch of different types of rattles she has a unicorn one she has a giraffe she has all types of rattles and she really loves them all those are were her favorite toys back then and i wrote this is when postpartum depression i really realized that i was having problems with it and that i needed to get help so that's when i actually reached out and got help that's around the time where i really just like fell under the radar i would say i really was having a hard time and struggling literally every single day so unfortunately I think I actually had the problem for a lot longer but it wasn't until she was almost six months old that I actually was like okay I actually do have a problem it's not in my head and I went and got help which if you ever have or suspect that you have postpartum depression just go get help because no need to feel like an imposter you know now I'm going to insert some pictures and videos from her five month period of time. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot 
It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. At six months, I wrote, she's starting to sit up on her own. I would say that she was pretty good at it and without assistance, but she did have her moments where she would randomly kind of fall over. Um, she was not sleeping the best still, but she was sleeping a lot better. She loved her jumper, like love, love, loved her jumper. Uh, we started wearing more pigtails because we love the pigtails. We started food and I wrote, she likes all foods. We are doing a baby led weaning puree combo. So I do give her chunks of certain things. Like I gave her chunks of banana, chunks of avocado to start off with like lots of different things that are really that are easy for babies to grab and easy for them to mash up in their mouth without teeth and without um knowing how to chew yet quite and she did like it she likes we do a really mostly purees but we do let her have like certain ugh. We do let her have certain things that are not purees and more baby led weaning style so yeah playing with her bath toys we started playing with bath toys while she was in the bath and she really really enjoys that and we had a six month checkup and she weighed about 18 and a half pounds at that point so i wrote that down and now i'm going to share some pictures and videos from her six month period of time the longer i waited All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go Out the window No smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind chime. It's always been you in the back of my mind. Early blue morning, everything's cold. I see you running, all covered in. her seven month update she is currently just turned eight months so at seven months she started waving started waving to literally everything just out of the blue it actually started happening a little after she turned seven months actually she she turned seven months on July 12th and on July 17th which was actually my wedding day she started waving and I was like, oh my God, she's waving on my wedding day. This is crazy. But it was really, really adorable. I wrote she, her favorite things to say are ba, 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 ba. And she also says ma, ma, ma. And those were her two favorite things to say. Um, we started giving her these teething wafers. I'll insert a picture of them and those became like her favorite thing. Um, because they were just so easy for her to like feed herself with them. I wrote, she does not have teeth yet. Um, we thought maybe they would pop through at the seven month period of time because she had been drooling and crying and all the things, but no teeth. We got her this little frozen fruit thingy. I can insert a picture of what it looks like, but um, basically we just fill it with frozen fruit and she loves chewing on it. She loved her stacking rings and also we got her like this, well not we, my mom got her this like combo kit for Christmas and she loved those toys. I'll also insert video or pictures. She loves the pool, she loves swimming around and she did not mind getting wet at all. She just is a little swimming baby, she loves the water. Um, she started grabbing her hair. I don't know that I have any videos of this, but she started like literally just randomly grabbing her hair and just pulling on it really hard and then just like letting it go, like not crying or anything, but um, definitely grabbing her hair pretty tightly and like noticing that it was even there. I wrote she's getting super big slash long. It feels like 
she's just a long baby. Like she was long before, but now she just seems so big. <laughs> She is in 12 months and also 18 months for PJs and sleepers, but her regular clothes were still 6 to 9 and 9 to 12. She was kind of like in between all the sizes, which is super strange. Um, she had her first cold, which was so unfortunate, right before our wedding even. Um, she really was sick and kind of out, out for the count. We even took her to the doctor because we were so worried about her cold, and she ended up being completely fine, which is really lucky. Also holds her arms up for to be like held up. Like if she's sitting on the floor, we would go, we want to come up and then she would hold her arms up and then we would pick her up. It was super cute. Yeah. And then last but not least, she started doing this. I call it her roar voice where she goes, Wah. but she started randomly going like that and making that noise and it was so funny we would just do it back and forth for like ever and ever i don't know if i have video of that but i can also insert that but yeah that's kind of it for her four to seven month update i'm going to insert a ton of pictures and videos of kind of seven months and below anything that i wanted to include but wasn't very relevant and then i will be doing month to month updates now and I'm also going to be doing a video eventually on like my experience with postpartum depression and, and kind of my thoughts on that. And yeah, you want to say bye? But yeah, we'll see you guys very, very shortly. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. You want to wave? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Good wave. Just miss you